Southeast Asia is a particularly critical area in terms of whale shark conservation and one of the key strategic sort of research aims is to work out uh, how often whale sharks are moving from protected waters in places like here in the Philippines uh, to places where they're heavily fished like China. We know that some of the animals, like the whale shark, migrate for thousands of kilometers, but we have no idea where they go from here and uh, where they were before they actually came here. And this is why it's so important to use different technologies like satellite tags so to understand their role in a larger ecosystem, like the whole Sulu Sea and the Philippine Seas. The satellite tags look like a sausage, a float on the surface, and every time the antenna break the surface, it sends a message to the to the satellites and we receive an email with the actual position of the animal. One of our project bases is here in Southern Leyte and we're working with the whale sharks to learn more about the population and the distribution of the sharks and the individuals visiting this area. I'm specifically here in Leyte to help the team deploy satellite tags on whale sharks. The tags allow us to track the sharks' movements, so we can see where they swim to, we know how much time they spend in each area where they go to. Typical day, if you're out looking for whale sharks, you would board a boat, you'll be looking for fins on the surface, you might be aided by spotters. There's nothing more exciting than seeing a fin on the surface when you've been looking for whale sharks in the water for hours. So we just spotted a shark, we got an ID, and then Gondo managed to deploy the tag on the animal. Exciting. We got locations for both of the tags. One is still in the same place as of 11 p.m. last night, and the other uh, sent a message at 5 a.m. this morning yeah, in the Subigao Strait. So it's gone north. Uh, it's on the east side of the island. We've never tagged whale sharks here in Tapataha. We thought they would be close to the surface, like everywhere else, we would go out on survey and find them. It's not the case here. All the reports we've had from tourists and from the, from the rangers have been the whale sharks are kind of deep most of the time. They don't aggregate or we don't find them like you would in other places. So this is a whole new challenge. It means if we want to work with whale sharks here, it's got, it has to be scuba based. So we've encountered a total of 13 individual whale sharks, which is incredible. I mean, considering it's opportunistic that we've been scuba diving, uh, we managed to deploy six tags on six different individuals. Given that we're out here in the middle of the Sulu Sea, uh, it's going to be quite fascinating to see where, where they actually move to from here, whether they stay within this huge uh, marine protected area or whether they do move into other waters where they may be less well protected. <laughs>